Hi, welcome to First Baptist of Horton, Kansas. I'm Pastor John Crasson. Each week we come together to hear from God and how much He loves us. And that is especially true today. I know we are very fond of Psalms 23 and how He is the Good Shepherd who watches out for sheep, he leads us beside still waters, leads us into pastures. And then you back that up with John 10, where he is the gate for the sheep, who protects us. He will, again, lead us to pastures. He will provide for us. And he is intimate because the sheep know his voice. And he calls them by name. Calls us by name. But Hosea, the book we are studying now, even goes beyond the Good Shepherd. He talks about the parent and child relationship. Join with me now as we go into Hosea chapter 11, verses 1 through 4. When Israel was a youth, I loved him, and out of Egypt I called my son. The more they called them, the more they went from them. They kept sacrificing to the Baals and burning incense to idols. Yet it is I who taught Ephraim to walk. I took them in my arms, but they do not know that I healed them. I led them with the cords of a man, with bonds of love. And, because, and I became to them as one who lifts the yoke from their jaws. And I bent down and fed them. He uses this imagery of a parent and a child. First of all, does that child do anything when it enters into this world to gain the love of the parent? No. The parent just says, this is my child. I love him. That's it. No ifs, ands, or buts. I don't care if it's a boy or a girl. I don't care if they are going to be an athlete or president of the United States. I love them because they're my child. And that God is saying to Israel and to us today too. He loves us. And we did nothing to deserve it. He chose to love us. And he not only chose to love us. He is doing all he can to be there for us. To raise us up in the way that honors him. To glorify him. Not because he's egocentric. Because we are made in his image. And if we are made in his image, shouldn't we reflect that? Be all that we can be. It's not like saying, I'm going to teach a dog to behave like a goat. No, you don't do that. You teach a child to be what it's supposed to be. You teach a child to be a man or a woman. That is what God is saying. I want you to be the best that I created you to be. And I'm going to show you how to do it. And I'm going to show you not just by pure instruction, but by pouring out myself on you in love and devotion. I will teach you. I will heal your wounds. Even though, he says, I know Israel and you. Guess you and me. When we go away chasing after other gods, we may not have the Baals, which is Israel, but we have time, we have money, we have our schedules, we have this, that, and whatever, and we pursue that over God. But God says, I will pursue you. And when you fall, and you will fall because you turned your back on me, I will be there to heal your wounds and help you back on your feet. Why? Because I put my bonds on you, not bonds of iron but bonds of love. And I will hold you up, pull you up, just like a parent does with a toddler who is just learning to walk. I've got you in my hands. You may think you're walking on your own, but I'm watching every single step. And when you start to stumble, my hands are already on your shoulders and not in your, in your hands, and I'm going to pull you back up. Because I want your feet on solid ground. I want you to be the best you can be, who I know you can be, God is telling us. Now that is a God of love, a God who I'm glad to be a part of, to, to know that I am loved by him so intimately. How about you? Are you so glad that you recognize him in each and every moment? I, I fail in this, I'll admit it. 
But we should be willing to say, look, God, you are intimate so, uh, with us. You are personal. You are here. Help us be the same with you. We want to be obedient, loving, compassionate children, just as you are with us. Show us how to love you. Help us not to walk away. Let that be your prayer this very morning. Lord, I just want to come before you and say, I want to thank you for this wonderful example and story that you have laid out of your relationship to us. You loved us from the very beginning. You provided for us. You take care of us. You instruct us. And when we fall, you're the one who there who lifts us up. And you do what you can to as long as we allow you to make sure we don't fall. But dear Lord, we need your help because we do pursue other gods anything that catches their eye, anything that sparkles. But not all sparkle items are good. Help us to know the truth by always looking to you, to reciprocate the love which you have bestowed upon us by showering it back upon you. Help us to be devoted to you as you are to us. Help us to see the intimacy in this passage as well as in Psalm 23 and John 10 and fall deeper in love with you. And not just making a mental ascent to that love, but be truthfully loving you in each and every day. In this we pray. Amen. Thank you for joining us. And come back next week as we conclude the book of Hosea and then see where the Lord leads us next. Until then, may the Lord Bless you, but also be a blessing unto God. Love him and be devoted to him.